paid out $1.3 million to Noel Mark for hitting 15 goals on the season, and he just collected another $325,000 for hitting 20 goals on the season, and he'll get another $325,000 maybe today if he can get to that 25-goal mark. And you know what? 25 goals, well worth the $1.95 million that we'll pay him in addition to his salary. We've also extended somebody's contract. We're nearing the end of the transfer window, but let's get into the business at hand today. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to episode 30 of our Journeyman Save. This is our third club, Leicester City. And as mentioned in the intro, we uh, have paid out some bonus money to Noel Mark. He's still with the club, thankfully. And we have signed uh, center back Decibal Hildon to a new contract. Uh, the last contract expired in 2061. And uh, now he's extended out one more year with a hefty pay raise, about 400000 a month. Taking a look at our schedule since last episode against Reading, we had a 3-1 victory against West Brom. Mark with a brace, Josh Wheel with a goal, Tottenham with uh, a 2-0, 2-1 win, Graves and Mark teaming up for the goals, and we beat Norwich 2-1, Noel Mark again on the score sheet, and Felipe getting on the score sheet as well. We'll have highlights for our Stoke match in just a second, and then we'll be playing Fulham in the FA Cup fourth round. So let's get into that, but let's take a quick look. Competition-wise, we are four points clear of Man United with a game in hand uh, over Man United and Arsenal. So that's good. We can extend that to seven points with a win. So we are doing very well looking to win the Premier League this year. And I think if we win the Premier League, then I think my, done, my, my job at Leicester is done. I think we have taken them. Uh, we have rebounded them into a good place. Uh, I mean, we won the championship by 10 points, I think, that year and ninth, fifth, and then going to be a top four finish. I, I think we have done everything we can do uh, in the Premier League, short of getting into Champions League uh, and everything else. But, you know, we'd like to see a good Euro Cup run this year, a good FA Cup run, uh, possibly some silverware. That would be kind of the next logical step. Uh, but, you know, this is the Bielsa-styled save. so. You know, we're not looking for ultimate glory with clubs. Because remember, Bielsa in real life has very limited silverware accumulation. Um, you know, so, you know, his thing has always been about the challenge and being at the right club. Um, I find it hilarious that uh, Tottenham are talking about uh, hiring him away from Leeds United. <laughs> He's not going to go to Tottenham. Uh, just if, if you think he will, then you obviously don't know the man uh, and what he stands for. Uh, so, you know, and they're like, well, he's he's only signed to the end of the year and they haven't signed him yet. That's because he never signs more than a one year contract and he never signs it until the off season. He just doesn't operate in the way that most managers do. So. I'm looking at this season as probably our last season at Leicester. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's get Stoke played. Let's check out those highlights right now for you. I got to still go play the match, though. Stoke are down near the relegation battle. We're in the blue in this one. Balfour crosses it to Graves, who actually caught it off the ground with a nice volley, and that gave us a 1-0 lead in the seventh minute. Jasufi plays it. Through the middle, Graves runs onto it, takes a left peg at the near post. That makes it Lester 2, Stoke nil. In the 26th minute, Felipe plays it out to McNeil. Plenty of space. He sends the cross at the six-yard line, and it's Baffer with the goal. 3-0 to Lester. Romain 
at the six-yard line. Hildon with another header goal off a set piece to make it 4-0. A little chip out to Barreto. Deflected by Solis, but he can't hold on to it. Right gets the easy put back. But that was uh, going to be about the only threat they posed to us on this day. We're still in the first half. Big through ball. Noel Mark finds the goal there, making it 5-1. Licka tackled at the edge of the box, but he's back on it. Fights through another tackle. Crossed over, and it's Baffer making a run into the box. 6-1 Lester. Noel Mark holds it up. It's Rowe. He plays it through the middle. Graves runs onto it and slots it past Hopper. And that made it Lester 7, Stoke 1. And that would be the final 15 shots, 7 goals. Outrageous game. Felipe was injured. He'll be out for three weeks uh, with a pulled calf muscle. Graves was stellar with the hat trick. And our run is five wins in a row. Remember, we had a game in hand, so now we have extended that lead to eight. Uh, seven, I'm sorry. Do math. Uh, seven points over United and Arsenal. That is great. Leads down there in mid-table. I'm kind of contemplating what I want to take the Leeds job. They had a nice run. They didn't win anything, but they've been down towards the bottom. But we have to see if they have, you know, they just hired a manager this year. Also, don't forget, we qualified winning all six of six in the Euro Cup. And we're still in the, so that's going on. When does that take place? Okay, that's uh, in March. So that's coming up, the knockout rounds. Uh, we do have the FA Cup. That's what we'll be playing Fulham. So let's do that right now. All right, we're going to go with Solis in the goal, McNeil, Fowler, Hildon, and Licka on the back line, a midfield of Mapasi and Jasufi. Mapasi's just coming back from injury, so uh, he is limited to about 75 minutes, and Jasufi is also just, uh, coming back from injury as well. Romain and Baffer on the wings, Graves and Mark up top. 27 goals for Noel Mark, 19 for Graves, and yet the game keeps wanting to bench him in favor of Cesar, who has 9 and 21. I don't get it. We haven't been active in this window, and I think that's one of the hardest things. I don't know how you guys feel, but it's one of the hardest things I have in dealing with football manager is the American free agency concept of being, you know, the buying of players is I end up trying to stockpile players or building a, a good second or third team within my starting squad. And that's the hardest thing for me is not doing it. What a finish by Mark for his 28th goal of the season from outside the edge of the box. And that was a brilliant finish. My goodness. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at the talent of players I have on my bench that can't play that aren't getting minutes and and i'm like man i've just spent way too much money uh getting these guys on my squad and they can't do anything it's it's crazy and uh i don't know let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that but that's that's one of the hardest things look at that through ball and mark oh sores with a brilliant save there mark probably could have taken another touch uh, and gotten a better position on that shot. So I'm just not feeling the need to, to spend any money in the window here. I don't have any, any pressing needs. Oh, you did notice uh, I have been playing. Oh, Graves is through, and he should have finished that one. Um, we are playing the 4-2-4, uh, uh, so that's a little bit different tactic than we've been playing from the three back set. Uh, we've been generating a lot of shots still, just not, not, not the, uh, you know, complete. Oh, there. Oh, look at the touch and Mark with his second. That's number 29. Oh, what a partnership those two are. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I just don't see the need to to go out and sign anybody. I don't have any real holes 
But, you know, we have gone to this new, you know, not a new tactic. It's an old tactic that we've used in previous seasons, but uh, definitely a step away. So we are a little thin maybe at left and right back. Uh, we did recall Rui Ramos from his loan. And, uh, you know, but, but again, there's nowhere for him to play. I, I just can't, can't do anything with him right now. Not that I'm even motivated to with the attitude that he caught when he was here, uh, you know, about playing, a, his, you know, the position that he wanted to play. So, you know, is what it is. All right, let's encourage the team. There's a header up to Jasufi. Nice ball up to Graves. Oh, he dropped it in brilliantly. And I think Mark was just off target. Boy, that would have been a 38-minute hat trick. And that would have been incredible. But we are looking good, even with this tactic. All right, that was just a lump and a prayer. And they are on a little bit of a counter here, but we've got plenty of guys back. Let's see if we can get a stop here. It's Baffer. And there's Fowler getting rid of it. Good job. That's cleared up to Graves. He cuts it inside. Tackled away. Mapasi. Nice ball out to Baffer. Crossed into Graves. And Eric Graves has reached the 20 mark. So both of our strikers with 20-plus goals on the season. Uh, of course, Mark nearing the 30-goal mark. And this is turning out to be a stellar season for our strike partnership. I have to be ecstatic with this. Coming into the half, I think we're going to go ahead and... Do we want to move him out now? Uh, let's take a look. I'm looking at Jasufi and Mapasi. They're both playing well. He is tired. I tell you what, let's, let's not push him. Let's bring in Josh Wheel into that mid-center. Yeah, we'll do that. And then Mapasi will be uh, the next guy to come off, assuming I have somebody. I can move Romaine back there if I need to. And then we'll put a new winger out. Uh, Baffer gets his pass deflected, but Map oh, Maposi just sloppy with the ball. Oh, my goodness. Solis got lucky right there and just belted out of play for a corner. All right, let's encourage him again. Baffer. Maposi brings it up. Out to Licka. So Licka has been one of the center backs in our three center back set, but now he's out to the right, right side at fullback and probably not the best there. So, you know, if I do, if I do spend any money, that might be a position. Oh, Graves did not run onto that. That was a little lackluster. A little lack of heart there, man. Mark with the one-touch pass, and then Graves, number 21. He's got his second of the game. So both of our strikers with two goals, looking for a hat trick. Now I can't pull either one of them off. That's hilarious. Uh, let's praise them here. They're in a 4-4-2. So things are going well. All right, Baffer. Let's go ahead, and Baffer's tired. Maposi, you know what? We're going to leave him on. All right, so let's pull Baffer off. Carlos Vitor, he'll come in out there. And now Vitor is left only. Let's just make him a plain winger. A little bit better role for him. Don't see me do that too often. Actually change the position in the uh, tactic there. Something I'm trying to do a little more. <laughs> Licka puts it through to Mark. Uh, look at the layoff. There's Licka coming up on the overlap. Oh, uh, beats his man, McElroy. Josh Wheel crossed in. That was headed away. Josh Wheel, another one of those players that just generates so much and can't crack our starting lineup anymore with Baffer on that side. 
Oh, and Solis just got sat down there. First goal of the season by Griffiths. And Solis looks horrible. 4-1 to one, Lester. Vitor comes onto the field. Solis makes the grab there off the set piece. Graves heads it out. Vitor's there. Oh, the flick on header is brilliant. Oh, what a save by Sorez. Oh, they've got to be happy with his performance today. Even with four goals, he has made a couple of worldies, it appears. McElroy on the counter. Oh, my God, and Wheel's going to get a straight red there. No, I thought, I thought that was definitely... That wasn't even a professional foul. Wow. Oh, there's a nice ball out to Mark. What can he do? He's into the box. Oh, he tries to take the angle. Can't get that done. Heading into the 70th minute. Let's encourage him again. They've had 14 shots with seven on target. All right, we're into the 80th minute here. Romaine's tired. McNeil's tired. The back line is just falling apart. Wheel's not playing well, but he he's fit. Romaine, let's bring on uh, let's bring on Jordan Menza. We haven't seen him in a while. He's lost his place in the side, but with a three goal lead, he probably can't hurt us, right? I don't think he could hurt us anyway. This is a player, you know, I think with the way he performed, I think that's a player you, you know, doing a save where you would just say, oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Who did that? All right, Licka stole it, Wheel, Wheel passed it back, Hilden missed it, but that was a horrible decision by Wheel. Oh, that was just horrible. Uh, I'm going to actually give him a shout to focus. <laughs> and they may not like that. Four to two. Wheel near post, Hilden hits it over. But he was there, that's what we were looking for. And we should get out of here, four minutes of stoppage time. I think we've got this in the bag. Four to two, we will advance to, hey, look, matching track suits. Uh, we will advance to the fifth round. Um, I'm going to go hands in pockets. Yeah, I'm going to tell him that, motivated. Hilden was not happy, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to give that talk. So we are just a couple of days away from the transfer deadline. We are also couple of days away from the fifth round. Oh, hello. Leicester are not as good as they think. We could beat them given another chance. Yeah, well, whatever. Mark with a great game. Graves was not outperformed. I'm going to decline. I'm not going to sink to his level. We just beat him on the pitch, but that just shows the classless of Fulham. They are Craven at Craven Cottage. <laughs> Tell I'm not a not a Fulham fan either, but at least we I'm, we don't call them scum, you know, like scum. All right, let's get up to the fifth round draw. All right, here is the draw. So we have 22 teams left in. So let's see where we end up. I wouldn't mind that one. All right, so West Ham would be a good one. Lincoln would be a good one. Although Lincoln's been in the Premier League, and they've got to beat Middlesbrough here. Uh, probably would like to stay away from Man City. Uh, Arsenal. Not the easiest, but, you know, we are top of the league, right? So that's something to shoot for. But we will get Arsenal in the fifth round. So let's see where that takes place. All right, so that'll be coming up in March, I think. And then we have them right after that in a league match. Why don't we come back for Man City highlights, Arsenal on video, and then we'll do a double knockout. We'll do uh, highlights from the first leg, 
play out the second leg of uh, the second knockout Euro round, which we don't know who we're playing yet. But I think that's the plan for the next two episodes. Uh, so guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. Also, uh, if you were not aware, my uh, single team save with uh, the Graf Shop has ended by the time you see this. And we have started a new uh, single team save called Play the Kids, uh, where we are going to, it's a combination of a director of football and a youth academy challenge. Uh, you know, modified as always. But uh, anyway, uh, episode zero has been up for about a week at this point. So check that out if you want to kind of learn the background on the save. And then those uh, seri that series uh, should have started right around the time you see this video. So I uh, hope you check it out uh, here on the channel. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.